Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to highlight certain terms in a long list in Excel. And basically this is what I want to do. I have this huge list of terms. It's for an advertising campaign. And I just want to highlight the um, terms in this giant list. It's more than 100 terms that contain the phrase uh, Chrome. For instance, Chromebooks, Chromebooks Google. And there's a couple other ones in here too. And you can do that using the filter function. So basically, here's what you do. Highlight the column, and either on the Home tab or on the Data tab, look for a button that says Filter. Here's the Filter button on the Data tab. On the Home tab, it's at the very far right, Sort and Filter. Select that, and then select Filter. And nothing will happen. And, you're think and you may be thinking, oh, that didn't really do anything. Big letdown. Actually, you still have to do a couple more steps. You may have noticed that a tiny little drop-down menu appeared here. You can barely see it. And by the way, this is uh, nearly identical in terms of appearance and the way it works in both Windows and Mac. Uh, this is the Mac version of Excel. Windows is you know, 99% the same. Click on this little downward pointing arrow. It's at the top of the column and this will let you set up the filter. Okay. What you want is to choose filter. There's a drop down menu. Choose one. Select contains. This could be a number or it could be text. I'm going to select contains Chrome. And then you can clear out of that. And you can see what it did? It basically found all of the all of the uh, terms that have Chrome in it in that giant list from number five to ninety-three. Uh, the reason why number one is it number one doesn't contain the word Chrome. The reason why it is included here. Uh, is in this list, even though it doesn't contain Chrome, is because when I set up the, uh, when I selected everything, for some reason, I um, also selected this as well. So that shouldn't be there, but you could easily get rid of that too. For more information on how to get the most out of Excel, check out my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. It talks about sorting and filtering, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.